Hello everyone and welcome to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How is everyone doing this fine afternoon? Thank you very much for joining in. Right off the bat, if you guys would be so kind as to please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet already. Thank you to all of you that have been supporting my videos over the last couple of years. I really, really appreciate it. Keep hitting that like button, keep watching my videos and spread the word of my channel and I will keep the videos up. Thank you so much once again for being eh, for all the support. I apologize for being redundant, but my gratitude is endless. <laughs> With that cheesiness out of the way, thank you very much again for joining in. All right, my laptop is loaded up. As you can see by the title of today's video, I'm going to be attempting to recreate the Kings uh, Strip Weathers, there we go, I remembered his name, his crash from the original Cars, the movie. This has probably been the one of the most requested ones I've been asked to do ever since the ever-so-popular first uh, Cars video I did trying to recreate Lightning McQueen's flip from Cars 3. Alright, so enough with my babbling. Since it's been about 10 years-ish, over 10 years, I believe that movie came out in 2006, if I'm not mistaken. For those of you that don't know the scene in question or want a little refresher about the wreck I'm going to be trying to recreate, on the last lap of the shootout race between Lightning McQueen, Chick Hicks, and uh, Strip the King Weathers, uh, while battling for second place, Chick Hicks spins the king. He goes flying into the infield, goes airborne, tumbles a bunch of times, and stops just short of the start-finish line. Alright, I think I have this all loaded up. There we go. Alright, so here we have it. You guys have seen this scene. It was airborne, Rusty Wallace style. Flips through the infield, barrel rolls side over side, and comes to a rest on his wheels. And then Doc Hudson looks on. So, you guys now know what I'm going to be attempting to recreate in this video. And let's go to player info so we can see the Kings. Number 43, Dynaco car, straight from the movie. It's different than the one I used in the thumbnail. As you could tell, it was just Richard Petty's uh, paint scheme in the thumbnail. But I'm going to be using this one for the video. Be I used the other one because there was uh, no damage. There's very little damage for this mod, but I wanted the car in the thumbnail to be damaged. And as you can see, there's no eyes. I still need to do a edit a MIP file or get someone, ask someone to edit a MIP file to add the windshield eyes on later, but that's no problem for this video because I can still record a crash, save the replay, and I can always add the eyes later. So here's the car we're going to be using, and let's check out Chick Hicks, that bastard, his paint scheme from his number 86 that has a million little decals over it want to thank TNT Man 93 for providing this paint scheme for Chick Hicks over on NN Racing. And then I want to thank Joe Pajo, I believe I'm pronouncing that right. That user over on NN Racing is also a user on StunOddRacing.net and I believe YouTube, maybe, for providing this paint scheme that's also available over on StunOdd, ah, NN Racing which the links for both are down in the description. Enough of my babbling, let's get on to the attempts. I'm just making sure I, the chat isn't frozen, so I click back on the window. So, like I uh, stated earlier, the movie came out in 2006, I believe. It says Los Angeles International Speedway, which does not exist. It looks like a big oval based in California. Hence, I'm going to be using California 2006. The setup for the track itself looks a little bit closer to the Los Angeles Motor Speedway. Eh, not Las Vegas Motor Speedway. That's why I 
stumbled on that. I knew that didn't sound right coming out. Las Vegas Motor Speedway. It looks a little closer to in the movie. However, that's a shorter track, which would inhibit our chances of getting airborne. And it's also not based in California, which obviously Los Angeles is. And this track is Auto, which is now present-day Auto Club Motor Speedway. Auto Club Speedway, whatever its technical name is. The Dynaco 500, I have no idea if that was the right name for the race. I'm just using that one. The only other car in here is Chick. The reason we won't have Lightning McQueen is because we're using this, uh... This old school 70s style cars, which there isn't really a McQueen paint scheme for, plus it wouldn't really look right. I'll show you why we're using, this is the very earliest version of the GN70 mod, it's 1.1. And it doesn't have the greatest damage, but however, just like I showed you, it has the two proper paint schemes that we need for this video. Here's the updated, the... I believe it's like version 3 of what was the GN70. Here's the GN70 SS, which I would be using, but the paint schemes don't quite convert. Here's what it looks like for uh, the King's car. So it, the paint scheme didn't quite convert, so that's why I'm going to be using the older one, even though the damage isn't as good. still want the right cars. All right, enough of my babbling. Let's get in. Thank you guys so much for joining. If you guys could please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. See, we're already well past 100 watchers. Let's try to get 200. I know we hit 475 the last Cars Related stream we did. And for those of you that have watched my fr uh, previous streams know, I usually, in uh, Rex where I'm trying to get some aerodynamic takeoffs going on I set the temperature really low to help make blowovers easier that's why we have sub-zero temperatures right now all right let's do this it's just a battle of me and chick chick hicks a fictional McQueen will be somewhere ahead of us battling for the lead which I can edit him in later but we're gonna go around the track, get up to speed one lap, and then coming out of turn four, right into the infield. It was right at the start of the pit road, if you saw the video at the, I showed at the beginning of the stream. It's right when he started to get airborne and where he got spun. Dynaco is all mine. It's not yours, chick. Alright, this is exciting. We're about to go green. That's one downside to having the temperature down. All that anticipation for me spinning out. I'm just gonna get a running start on him right before they, we go green. All that anticipation just for me spinning out. Remember, Chick was in third, and then Strip was in second, trying to fight off Chick, and then Chick turned him. I'm going to have to turn down into Chick, coming right out of the turn, right into the infield. Alright, I'm going to try this again. I don't care if I get black flagged either. And I notice in practice with the way I have the track settings right now, he can take the turns way better than me, but I can catch him on the straights, so this isn't an issue because I'll catch him on the straightaway. And pass him, hopefully.
Oh. Oh, he got back on two wheels. Or he got on two wheels and back on all four. Alright, so that's if the king would have saved it. We'll try that again. The lead up coming out of turn four wasn't the greatest. He had a little bit better run on me than I would have liked him to. If anything, maybe I'll have to turn down the AI difficulty just a couple notches. Because I wanted him to be more on the inside line so I could turn down into him coming right out of the turn, but he was way up in the higher groove. So we will try that again. That's why this is a live stream. It's all trial and error. If I wanted to do a similar video but edit it down, it would take me weeks just to do one of these videos, do an entire day of attempts, edit all the in-between garbage out, like this stuff that I'm talking about right now. <laughs> Edit all the crap, do all the final touches, render the damn thing, upload it. Alright, so I just need to make sure he hasn't passed me first. There we go, I slowed down way more than I needed to for the turn last time. Let him get my draft. Alright, come on, chick. Do your worst. Oh, not bad. But he kind of swiveled around and stopped tumbling, landed back on his wheels. It was a tumble, but not nearly as bad of one. That's why we're doing many attempts, so we can get the best one. The start of it was good. We stopped short of all those extra side-over-sides. Alright. Not bad. Just as long as I can start getting the hang of where we both need to be and what speed we need to be going at coming out of the turn and getting turned at the right spot on the track. Just a trial and error process. Each fail attempt I know what not to do next time. Hey, awesome, we hit 200. Thank you so much, guys. If there's anyone new joining in, I'd really appreciate if you guys hit the like button, show your support. Only if you enjoy the video, you don't have to. Or if you're a fan of Cars, the movie. Lightning McQueen. Or the King, Strip Weathers. No one likes Chick Hicks. I'm gonna get another running start on him so I can get in front of him. There we go. No one likes Chick. slow down so much, except... Alright. I thought he was going to get a way better run than he did. I guess I can still stay ahead of him going on the back stretch. I can edit all the pro previous stuff beforehand for the wreck. I'm just, for the video, I'm just mainly going for the crash itself in this live stream right now. Not bad. I think I went a little past the finish line, though. The way he kind of stopped was pretty good. I think he went past the finish line, though. Let's see. Oh, yep. I was well past the midfield. Midfield. Did I just use a football term for NASCAR? Alright, so that means we need to try it again. <laughs> Drivers, start your engines! Damn, 200 plus watching. I remember one of these streams. Don't give me too much credit. These 
Cars ones are really popular. But at least I am to the point in my channel where I can start to get a hundred plus on a somewhat regular basis for an average daily live stream of mine, depending on what the topic is. I need to do it a little bit sooner coming out of the turn because he stops short of the start finish line. Yes, I'm going for all those types of details. so I can get a running start right as the green is being waved. So I can get ahead but don't get the black flag. Oh, I jinxed myself. How come I didn't get the black flag the previous attempts for doing that exact same thing? Oh well, it doesn't really matter. I can still drive. But I need to stop taking the turns one and two so wide. It's anyways power powers down underneath me and does the overtake, which I'll just do the overtake right back. Shoot. Stay there, chick. Nope, I guess we're trying another lap. I guess we're trying on the next lap. Yeah, shut up about the black flag. By the way, I have the grip turned up a little bit, if you can't tell. For regular players of this game, they know I'm taking this turn a bit too fast. It's because I turned the grip up. For convenience sake, we're trying to get this wreck and also to compensate for the track temperature being way down. Here we go. took Chick with me that time, except he still crossed the finish line, and I think I did too, just barely. I took Chick with me that time. That, that attempt wasn't so good. Not very good at all, if you ask me. Oh, nope, I think I just... just short of the finish line. Yep. I think just short by probably a foot. All right, that means we have to try again. Drivers, start your engines. I'm not waiting. Uh, I'm not waiting too long out of the turn on purpose. I'm just I'm waiting for Chick, and I don't want him to have too fast of a run because then otherwise I'll just sideswipe him and we'll both go flying into the infield. Like what just happened there. I'm trying my best. <laughs> Never said I'm a great driver. I'm trying to recreate famous crashes from movies in real life, but I never said I'm a great driver. I'm doing my best. Yep, and that's what I'm trying not to do. To avoid the black flag. Screw the black flag. Why do I keep taking this turn so wide? There we go. I guess I blocked him. You're gonna stay behind me, chick. I just missed him. I thought I was going to time that perfectly, but I just missed him. Come in for this black flag. Whoops. Thought I was timing that perfectly coming out of the turn, but... See, that's why I waited a little bit in the previous attempts, because he was catching up to me. And he wasn't quite there on that one. I just missed him. Need to go for the best one. Whoa, 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 slow down. 
I need to rewatch the original Cars movie. It's been a while since I saw that one. I loved that movie. Start. Get ready now. Going green. Pit cars in. Green flag. Green flag. Green, green, green. God damn it. Try not to get black flagged. Alright, I actually didn't take this turn super wide this time. Oh. Right, Chicks, you can stay behind me. The only wreck me from another turn. That wasn't a bad spot, but the flip wasn't good. That was just about the right spot to do it at. Just, yep, coming right into the infield, right at next to pit road. But I came back onto the pavement. That's no good. This is what the view looks like for the king. This is what the king sees. Let's try a... Let's try an attempt from the king's point of view. crash everyone to the lead. Who does he think he is? Brad Kozlowski. Sorry guys. Didn't mean to a fan any Kozlowski fans. I like Kozlowski, but you gotta admit. He's got a history. Whoa, got a little loose there. I'm going to switch to third person right before I spin, just so I can see where his bumper is relative to mine. Shoot. Spun too soon. Whoops. That was an accident. That was an actual accident. At least we can still go to the pits. <sighs> yep, I accidentally took the turn too high and then I came down to block. He was there, spun me, I went into the outside wall, and the rest is history. Alright, sorry, that was my fault. Forgive me, I shall try it again. could have lightning in this mod. There's no car model for this mod. That really looks similar to his body style. It's all nerd stuff for this game. Right, let him get a little ahead and then I'll get a running start. Second being first, hopefully without getting the black flag. Hey, I didn't get the black flag that time. Awesome. Right, come on, 
and chick, cooperate with me. Don't spin me prematurely this time. See, now he's a little too far back. Now I'm going to have to wait for him to catch up. Yep, now I have to wait too long that time. Uh-oh. Whoa! I knew that was bad the moment it started. When I was started heading towards victory lane, I didn't think something that bad would happen. <laughs> Darn you, chick. Bounce right off the wall. Let's get a rear chase view of that to see what happened. Alright, so let's go super slow-mo to see what the hell I hit. I hit that, and then I hit the track opening right there, yep, or the wall opening. Slammed down right on the roof. So I have a, it's mostly wheel damage, but as you can see, yeah, there's still not much damage. Drivers, start your engines. Oh, the wheel actually got hurt from that first hit. That was interesting. The wheel got hurt. <laughs> the wheel got damaged. Well, I guess in this case, hurt. Because the cars are like people in this case. Reenactment of Mark Martin. Yeah. If his if his was like way worse. I think I've seen a few older racing videos of cars getting spun into the pit road entrance, hitting the barrels and flipping a few times. No black flag. Yes. Operate with me this time, chick. Shoot, except I didn't cooperate. I took that turn way too high, and then, yep, that happened. <sighs> Maybe we can just try again. Maybe if you he isn't. Right? Let's see if he goes to the pits. Nope, I'm damaged, though. God darn it. That was my fault. Shootout finish. Is that the same race where Jeff Gordon rolled over? Alright. Who knew flipping a car ten times over perfectly recreating another wreck of the exact same sorts would be so hard? I'm getting a AI for a 15 year old game to cooperate with me. God damn it. Actually, I might still have this. I still have a chance to get in front of him. Side by side battle with Chick. For the lead in the race in second, but in this case, the lead. Shoot. I messed that one up, too. Keep it going. No. I'm heading towards victory lane again. No! 
Alright, that one wasn't nearly as violent. I didn't mean to hit the outside wall coming out of the turn. And that messed that messed that attempt up. I did not mean to hit the wall. Shoot. The cool Dynaco logo on the hood. with French commentary. I've seen those. All sorts of sports with foreign commentary. Those are funny. They have the NASCAR ones with the Spanish commentary. Hey, we hit 300. Awesome. Let's see if we can get to 400. So we're just about getting ready to go green. Gonna try to slingshot in front of Chick. Before the green comes out to avoid getting the black flag, which we still got. Stay back there. Alright. It's just a matter of me taking this turn perfectly, letting him catch up and not pass me too early. Oh I thought I was gonna be able to keep going. You gotta come in for this black flag. That was a hard impact down on the pavement so you can see just a little bit of oops, damage like right where it says resume and just a little black part of the car instead of blue black and blue, I get it dang that was a hard impact nose first down into the pavement let's take a look at that He floated for a good four seconds first. Well, that was interesting. Not a good reenactment in terms of trying to recreate the scene from the movie, but still a cool wreck nonetheless. And I should have saved that so I could have gotten the reverse from Chicks on board. That would have been a cool shot. Tis too late now. If I could get a Doc, Doc Hudson spotter voice. Oh, I know that wouldn't make sense. Doc Hudson was lightning spotter. Not strip weathers. Right. Just don't take this first turn too high. Perfect. As long as you are even on the back straight, I, I'm, I'm way faster on the back straight. And the, the straightaways in general, he's way better in the turns. No, no, no. Oh, I almost kept it off the wall. Well, we're just going to wait for him to catch up. Because that'll probably just be quicker than hit and restart race and doing that all over again. And by the way, I turned off yellow flags so in the event that I get a good attempt, I can use the pace car camera too. 
because the pace car cam helps for CCM. For video reenactments, it's all nerd talk for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, just waiting for Chick to catch back up. So we're going to try to repeat the same thing. This next lap, since my car didn't really get damaged from that. We can pretend not. I did the exact same thing in the exact same spot. Except I hit the wall a little harder that time. <sighs> Come on, Cody. See what I mean about I can't know how to drive? Or I don't know how to drive? And I can't know how to talk? Case in point. Stupid Cody. Might as well call me Chick. Too wide that time. Keep telling myself not to do that. As long as I can pass Chick on the back stretch. Get a good run. Going off turn two. Get his draft. Slingshot. There we go. It was kind of similar to that one I had before, except I landed in the grass that time. I need to not turn down so hard, because I keep taking Chick with me when I do that. I just need to time it right to where he's kind of right there as we're coming off the turn. That time he had a huge run, so I turned really hard to make sure he wouldn't pass me. I'll try that again. Like the Cars 3 Lightning McQueen crash, I will be uh, doing this one for at least a half an hour as well. Or an hour and a half, sorry. At least half an hour. I'd be done by now. on the start. She couldn't tell. Close. Fender to fender racing. Or in that case, fender to quarter panel. Coming a little too fast, I think. No, I think it's perfect. Except he came back up on the track. Darn it, he needed to stay a bit more towards the infield. Oh, 
Otherwise, that wasn't a bad attempt. He just came back up to the left a little bit. More than he should have. He actually came back on the track. But the spot was good. The blowover was good. The barrel rolls were good. Just should went like here and stopped about here. Instead of all the way back up on the track. Needed to be more in the infield, but we can still get one closer. That wasn't perfect. Some of you might call that perfect. I want it to actually be perfect. Minus the damage. Because being it's a 15 year old game, at least it... This mod came out in like at least 2005, so the mod itself is like 13 years old, going on 13, so... The mod doesn't have the greatest damage, so it's just age limitations. But everything else I can have perfect. I just need to do basically that same thing, but be a little more centered in the infield so I can come to rest kind of in the middle of the infield grass instead of back on the track like I did in that last attempt. Haha, <laughs> chick. Darn it! Screw the black flag. I'll be crashed in less than a lap anyway. See that time I missed him again. You gotta come in for this black oh. flag. I'm just gonna restart. God darn it. See, I thought he was closer to me than he was, and I completely missed him. Brad's Atlanta flip. I have tried. Unsuccessfully, that is. I believe I'd be on part three for his 2010 foot. Slingshot around Chick. He ain't no black flag. Just as long as I don't get too ahead of him, I guess. I don't get black flagged if I pass him before the line. And yes, Cody, you've learned. Don't take that first turn too wide. And he'll pass you on the inside. We're trying again on the next lap. Be a lap of battling with Chick. And then we'll do it coming out of turn four next time. So I missed my opportunity this time. He's way better in the turns, and I'm way faster on the straights. Could be worse. I'll save that. The ending was at least pretty good. Where he kind of landed on his side and then went back on his wheels. 
Could have been a lot worse. I'll definitely save it. Yeah, right there. Would be a good shot for that last shot in the crash sequence. So I'll save that. Not too bad. We have to watch it again and get to the end of the replay. Yeah, does that last part I really liked where it kind of stops upon two wheels and then goes back on all four? Because that looked similar. All right. Strip weathers. Crash attempt. One. Save. All right, so that one saved. Now we will keep trying. Holy crap, we're up. I didn't even realize we were past 400. We're already in at 420. Because uh, since it was from a movie, an animation movie nonetheless, obviously there was a lot of editing involved in the original one, which I could easily do myself, but for the sake of authenticity and for convenience in the editing process, I want to basically try to take this crash and make a final product out of as little replays as possible, basically trying to get it in one, in one take. Like the perfect crash in one full single replay file. But if I have to, if I have a perfect crash that's perfect in every other way, but he kind of doesn't stop quite perfect, that's kind of why I saved that last part. Just because I like how he came to a stop. Kind of dug in on two wheels and planted it back down on all four, like I've said four times now. And we got black flag this time, but we don't care. Oh, we'll side to side beating and banging there. Right, come on, chick. Do your worst. Oh, we waited a little too long that time, and I took chick with me. And the crash wasn't good. You gotta come in for this black flag. <laughs> the next car's the leader. All right, that one's not even worth watching a replay. We can just try that again. Well, we're within a hundred of my record. The record, which was set in the last car stream for number of watchers, was live watchers. That is, at one time was 475 we got highest I saw was 428 so we actually got within 50 technically yeah I need to do start yeah start doing more cars related live streams these are popular and fun bringing back a lot of childhood memories from this movie Turn two wide. Stay right on that white line. As much as you can, at least. Oh, except don't spin out. Get a good run off the, the turn down the straightaway. Do the same thing for turns three and four. Oh, he tricked me. He tried going wide that time and then the old cross maneuver. So we will be trying on lap two. Oops. Oops. Well, I was Unexpected and accidental. It's not even worth a replay. Start your 
Come on. I was having more luck earlier, I feel like. I don't know if I'm getting less concentrated or just having worse luck right now. doesn't want you, chick. Nobody wants you. What's that realization like? Hmm. Alright, this is going to be a good attempt. I can feel it. Just as long as I can get a good lead up in turns three and four with the chick being properly positioned near my rear bumper. I feel like this will be a good attempt. Just as long as he doesn't fake me out this time. And act like he's going to go high and then do the low overtake. See, now this one is pretty good, except I waited way too long down the front stretch to do it because I'm well past the start-finish line. That was a decent attempt, but I kind of can't count it because, yeah, Chick wasn't properly positioned until we were decent way down the front stretch. But not bad, though. Was a decent attempt, just in the wrong spot. A little bit too far down the front stretch. I feel like I can't get the perfect timing with Chick. He's either passing me or spinning me out, or he's like still way too far back, and I'm like having a slam on the brakes or wait too long for him to catch up and be in proper position to spin me. Needs to be like coming right out of the turn. Right out of the turn, basically getting airborne right where the grass starts at the entrance to Pit Road. And I need to come to a rest before the start finish line. So, like I said, it was a decent attempt, just a little bit the wrong spot. I didn't even need to pass him before the line. I'm getting better at this. At least I think I am. Chick. Waited a little too long that time, too. And the... There's a little bit more spinny as opposed to barrel rolls. Is that worth one worth a replay? Sure, why not? Yep. Once again, Chick wasn't in the right spot coming out of the turn, so I had to wait a little bit longer than I wanted to. Try that again. Drivers, start your engine. How many attempts are we on? Probably like... 25-ish, I'd be guessing. What track am I using? Yeah, I'm using Auto Club, basically. It's 2000, circa 2006, which I believe is the year the movie came out. That's why I'm using this year. So I believe it's a fictional Los Angeles International Speedway in the movie, which I can only interpret as Fontana or California 
It looks kind of like Las Vegas Motor Speedway, but in order to get airborne, I'm using the slightly longer two mile here as opposed to the one and a half mile Las Vegas Motor Speedway. And also this one's located in California, like the movie, which Las Vegas Motor Speedway is not, obviously. Las Vegas, Colorado. Shoot, we got a terrible run in turns one and two that time. We can pass him. The lead up stuff doesn't matter. What's important in this video is the crash itself. The crash is what I'm going for in this video. Cooperate, please. No. Stupid chick. Oh, I thought he was going to hit that, uh, that victory lane thing that I did that one time, but he just missed it. Well, that one sucked. Drivers, start your engines! All right, so I guess the part three to the Cars series might have to be... Hmm. Right now, I will... I have to think of three. Hmm. I can think of two, but I can't think of a third. Alright, so I guess it'll be a pull between two. Let me know... Uh, let me know... No, down in the comments. Jesus Christ, I can't talk. Let me know down in the comments. Not the chat, the comments, because I can actually see that later. If for the next Cars-related live stream you would like to see me do either the Bristol big one early on in the original Cars movie, or the Doc Hudson crash at a fictional Daytona Beach that they show in the third movie. Let me know which of those two you would like me to see do for the next Cars-related video that I do. Right, come on, chick. Cooperate, please. See, I landed upside down, but that's why I saved that other replay. Because if I want to, I can use the first half from this wreck and then the ending to that other one and kind of just use creative editing similar to how they do in the movies to make it look really similar. Because the first half of this one is pretty damn... Actually, no. I don't like how he blew over and then just kind of plant it down in the grass upside down for a second. I mean, I'll save it. And there's nothing to lose saving it. Except like a tenth of a kilobyte in hard drive space. The blowover was decent, but not how we immediately started tumbling. Those flips were good. So there's like two decent parts, the barrel rolls and the initial blowover, but how he planted down into the ground at first and how he landed kind of made this a per prevented this one from being a perfect attempt, but I'll still save it because that's some good parts. All right, sure. Weathers crash attempt two. All right, we'll try probably the. 20th or 30th attempt. Chick. Whenever I hear the name Chick, 
I instinctively just want to start yelling chip like Ricky Bobby does or Will Ferrell does in Ricky Bobby at the old guy chip you ain't nothing here's a bag of bones All you ever did was make a hot daughter. That's it. That is it. No, I took that too wide again. Now he's going to pass on the inside. It doesn't matter because I can still pass. It's just more convenient me starting in front of him going on the back stretch as opposed to me having to worry about making this pass and whatnot and getting back in front of him going into the turn going into the turn at the right angle well that one sucked that was anticlimactic Here, let's pretend I won the race. I'm doing victory burnouts. Yay, yeehaw. Except now, I'm going to get my revenge on Chick. He's been wrecking people for far too long. And we demand justice. We deserve justice. He deserves revenge. I'm going to give it to him. Bye, Chick. Oh, I just missed him. I still technically got him. I think I got him enough to spin him, but I just missed him. Alright, sorry with that whole dramatic sequence. I'll stop being distracted once I hit the restart button. Well, I, I did get him, but not as badly as I could have. Just clipped him enough to... Send him into the wall. But I still took him out. Sometimes I like racing like this with all the stuff off, just the cockpit view. Makes it seem the most realistic. Why doesn't this car have a window net? I'll have to change that MIP too. Didn't get clipped by him at the right angle. I almost hit that exact same thing. Alright. Next. Darn it. I thought that one was looking good. Then just by inches, I missed judged the amount of distance I had. The amount of bumper that was next to me of chicks that could have spun me. King is angry. He's yelling. Get ready now. Going green. Car 
Someone asks how long I'm doing this. I am streaming for another 25 minutes because I do got to get going at 3.30 my time. I have a bunch of stuff I still have to do today. But I usually stream for about an hour and I'm doing an extra half hour for you guys because I you know these cars videos have been really popular. So let me know if you want to see Doc Hudson's Daytona Beach Crash or the fictional Bristol big one from the first movie. See now that one, the wreck was perfect almost, except Chick got involved just barely. He spun. I waited just a little bit too long too. The blowover and a subsequent tumbling, I think, was perfect. Maybe not the end over ends there, right at the end. Not quite. Damn it, I could should have saved that as attempt three. Why did I not save that as attempt three? Oh yeah, because Chick got involved. Chick. Been wrecking everyone your entire career. It's about si time someone turns the tables on you. Hey, no black flag. Him. Get back in front of him. Hopefully, yes, looks like I can. Looks like we're waiting the next lap. Because we weren't positioned right coming out of turn four that time. Chick is way better through the turns. But then I got the super bird that can power past him on the straights. Shoot. No. Alright, I guess we're trying lap three. It's all about patience. He's not cooperating this time. This time, it shall happen. It wasn't positioned properly that time, but here we go. Shoot, except I drift up too high. was really annoying all that three laps of battling just for that all right now I'll get my revenge and I won't miss him this time I will not miss him after this time
Looks like I got what? <laughs> you blew the engine. <laughs> you don't say. If it wasn't already blown before that. Oh, I missed missed it on that view. What's up with all the views with the damn campers and blocking the action? I want to see this roof cam. What do you think he was thinking about right here? Damn. They went right about to each other's firewalls. Drivers, start your engines! <laughs> Woo! So we've had a couple decently close attempts so far just nothing I would consider perfect yet I mean technically if I wanted to I could take the first half from that second one I saved and then the second half from the first one I saved and that would be basically it right there I mean I'm still just trying in the last 17 minutes going for a perfect attempt in one replay See, once again, the start of that one was pretty good. The blowover was decent, but the subsequent flips were kind of off. <sighs> yeah, I kind of spun and pirouetted back outside of the track. Excuse me. still have focus after an hour and 15 of doing this I'm still staying strong I'm mainly just sore from sitting still for so long which is the biggest fear I have about my hypothetical possibility of a 24 live reenactathon well, that would be a challenge Staying live for 24 hours, doing a different, trying to do a different reenactment every hour. Shoot. Now we have to wait for the next lap. So I messed up coming out of turn four that time. Oh, that was close. I'm 
beating and banging going on between Chick and the King. At least the first part, that's probably the one I'm using. Hold on. Just waiting until I go to the pits. I get spawned to the pits. There we go. Then I can use all the footage up to that point. Damn, I think I still waited just a tad too late, but that one was almost perfect. If I didn't wait, because I, went, I still went a little past the start-finish line. If I... Had, Ah, uh, that one was almost perfect. Almost perfect. Too far. Yes, thank you, Toaster Gaming. You're always the first to tell me. I, I got that on my own, but thank you very much. I'm still saving it as part three, in case I end up just... Oops. In case I just end up having to resort to... Splicing a bunch of attempts together. I can have a bunch of def eh, decent segments for each part of the wreck. Strip. Weathers. Crash. Attempt. Three. God damn it, if that just happened like a second or a second and a half earlier in the front stretch, that would have been perfect. The blowover was like spot on. Just always paranoid if a uh, chick is right up on my bumper coming right out of the turn that he's gonna be able to pass me on the inside and I'm gonna have to wait a whole nother lap because he'll get too far. Didn't even have to pass before the line that time. So about 10 minutes to go in this one. Thank you guys so much for making this my second most popular live stream ever. There's still, still time to pass the record of live viewers from the last Cars video, but even if it doesn't, I'm still thrilled with how this one went. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to see my future videos and if you hit subscribe hit the little bell button and that way you'll get uh, future notifications for my live streams you'll get notified whenever I schedule them oh as you saw while I was babbling there I had to wait for the next lab because chick was already passing me on the inside by the time we got out of the turn See, now that one, he flipped in about the right spot. He stopped well short of the line, but the flips were a little off. I didn't like the flips in that one as much as I did the previous attempt.
Jesus Christ. That NR2003 guy in Toaster Gaming, do I need to ban both of you? I swear every single stream you guys are arguing. It's been like the last three at least. Just get along. We won't have any issues. You guys forget the chat is a privilege, it's not a right. I can just hit the little checkbox on OBS and turn that chat right off, then I'll be just like any other boring gamer with my game and my stupid, ugly, fat, pale face up in the corner, babbling on about nothing. <laughs> Back to the cars. Back to Chick being something negative that rhymes with Chick. But I won't say because this is probably a video where there's lots of kids watching. That sucked. Stupid chick. <sighs> I have to try that again. That's the most annoying part, is the one where it takes so long to build up, and that's just a complete failure. Those are the most annoying ones for me. Chick. I need you to crash me. There we go. Yes, I know I waited too late this attempt. Wasn't any better or worse than any of the other average attempts I've had in the past. Alright. This will probably be the third to last attempt, because just like I said, I gotta get going. I gotta run over to the post office, drop some mail off. Finish up my laundry, I gotta cut some, gotta mow some grass, grass, Jesus, why did I say that weird? I have a whole bunch of stuff to do today, still, so I do gotta get going soon, but I do want to thank you guys for watching this long, this is by far my second most popular live stream. The other 
cars won. The Lightning McQueen's crash being a little bit more popular than this one in terms of live watchers, I believe. But this one still got pretty damn close. And I don't want to keep asking the same question over and over and being annoying. But if you guys wouldn't mind and would be so kind to hit the like button. If you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it. perfect spot by his flip basically right back onto my wheels that was anticlimactic all right two to go Asking me to hang, I still got chores to do. Such a miserable life. <laughs> Get behind me, chick. You don't deserve to be in first. Dynaco doesn't want you. Messed that one up. I had I was in perfect position and I accidentally hit the outside wall coming out of the turn. Drivers, start your that was completely my fault. Ah, shoot. I had a perfect opportunity there and I blew it. Alright, last attempt here. Alright. So now is where you guys uh let me know down in the comments again. Would you like to see me do a part two of this video, or would you like me to take parts from the best attempts that I've saved and edit what I have into a final uh, final video from the reenactments you have, the other reenactments you've seen, as soon as I get a file to put some eyes on the windshield? So yeah, let me know if you want me to edit what I have now and put that out or if you want me to do a part two basically a follow-up basically this video a second time I'll talk about a fail Jesus Let's see if I can catch check down the back stretch possibly maybe Perhaps. I think so, yes. Haha. -ha. 
The final crash was the king's revenge. I gotta save that one. We took out Chick. We took out Chick on the final attempt. I got him to bounce in the grass, dig in, and barrel rolled. Well, that was interesting. Alright, I gotta save that. The king got airborne, but went upside, or uh, went back on his wheels. Chick, however, flipped about eight or ten times. The King's Revenge. Alright guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, subscribe, check out my social media links, Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook down in the description. I really appreciate all the support from you guys. Can't thank you enough. Keep it up and I will keep up the videos. As far as this one, I think that is about it. Thank you again for watching. Just like I said, I can't thank you enough. And I hope to catch you guys at the next stream. Until then, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Peace. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.